Hi everyone, welcome to the first edition of the Java Tip of the Week. The Java Tip of the Week will bring you all kinds of useful information that you can use on your everyday projects. It's just a small video, five minutes long, that you can use to watch on your short breaks. It will feature hands-on and live code mostly. I hope that you guys enjoy it. So for today's Java Tip of the Week, I'm going to talk to you about Project Lombok. I've been using Project Lombok for a while, and I'm very happy with it. Project Lombok allows you to generate a boilerplate code that you usually have to place on the Java source files, but it generates on the bytecode level, uh, resulting that your Java source files will be much more cleaner uh, than before. So this is Project Lombok website on projectlombok.org, and you can check it out later if you want. I'm going to showcase this on one of my favorite projects called the Java E7 Angular project uh, that I have on GitHub. And I start by having a dependency for Project Lombok. Well, one thing that you have to uh, know about is that since Lombok generates uh, Java code on the bytecode level, you need the IDE plugin so the IDE recognizes um, the, the code that Lombok generated. So for IntelliJ, I have a Lombok plugin installed that you can go to plugins and install it yourself. Uh, but for NetBeans and Eclipse, it's the same. So just remember to have the Lombok plugin installed for this to work. Now I'm going to go to just a Pojo, and you can see all this boilerplate code here, and the equals and hash code, getters and setters, and I'm going to remove them. Now if I go to another class called this partner, uh, sorry, this person resource, all these are unread because they are not found. Now I'll go to person again. And I can add a notation called getter and another notation called setter. Now let's go to partner resource again, and these are fine. Cool, huh? But you can do better. So let's also add the equals and hash code like this. So this is kind of unfortunate that Java still needs to rely on this kind of stuff since you have other languages that allows you. Uh, to generate all these boilerplate code uh, natively. Uh, since Java doesn't have that, maybe in the future we have to rely on, on Lombok for now. Uh, and we can also have a no artifact constructor and no artifact constructor. Cool, huh? So coming to person resource again, so now I have, I can pass parameters this constructor, all of them, like an ID name and so on. So this is working. Uh, and be sure to look into the arguments that uh, annotations get because you can do pretty cool stuff with them. So you can generate a static constructor. Let's call it like an off. And let's go here again. So now you can say person off something, right? No name and so on. So I have all these arguments here. But the pain is that, for instance, here I don't have to pass the ID all the time when I want to build a new object. So for that I use the real favorite one that I love called the Builder. It allows you to build an object uh, using a Fluent API. So let's move here again and now we can do this code like this. So person, uh, new person equals person dot builder and I can say now name and let's put the name description let's put description and the image let's set it right there um, so since it's like a fluent API right here um, you kind of pretty much can choose which uh, arguments that you want to do and in the end you just do build now you can pretty much replace this one over here. Let's inline it. Get like this. We can remove this one. So I have an error right here, so it's actually person. And we're done. So how cool is that? I think it's much better like this, right? So one of my latest annotations that I love to use, the one I'm going to show you next, it's the log. So log actually generates a logger for you. It's using the uh, utils logging for Java. Uh, 
you know, yeah, sometimes Lombok is synchronized, so it's kind of like plugin problem. So if you come here and hit an enter, and it should be fine. No, well, never mind. No, there you go. So now you have a logger where you can just log stuff into it. Cool, huh? So let's see if this still works. Yeah, here's my project and it's still working. So try Project Lombok, maybe it can save some time for you. Even if it doesn't save time, at least uh, it's gonna make your code look much more nicer, like this. And I'm very happy with it. So see you next week. Thank you for watching.